YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Anthro Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, we're going to be doing a high skin fade with a comb over. Alright, so I always like to begin by brushing or combing out my client's hair. Shout out to Still Tooth Combs. They're super dope and I got a really cool review coming up on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, the reason why I like to brush or comb out my client's hair is I just like to get the hair to lay down in its natural direction. That way it's easier to cut. So now that I got everything laid down, I'm going to take my Andis Cordless T-Outliner and I'm going to begin to set my first guide, which is going to be my bald guide. And this is a high skin fade, so it is going to start off high. And all you're really going to want to do is keep it even all throughout the head. Um, I'm going to admit that I was kind of sloppy on setting my first guide with this one. But typically my OCD kicks in and I usually clean it up. I don't think I did this time, but when possible, which should be every time, always try to keep your guides very consistent, neat, and straight. So now that my bald guideline is set, I'm going to take my Andes Profo shaver and I'm going to completely bald out that guide. And when I get towards the top of the uh, weight of the guide that I just set, I use that flick out motion and I'm just trying to give myself a clean transition from smooth to stubble just to allow the fade to pop that much more. I also want to apologize about the noise happening in the background. I happen to be upstairs in my desk area that I made my little YouTube lair and my wife is being a really cool sport and she's putting my desk together right now and uh, I happen to be using this dope Yeti mic and um, it's picking up everything so once I bald them out I'm gonna take my wall magic cordless clip with the lever open and I'm gonna begin to set my next guide I'm not say I go up um, probably a little less than an inch because again this is a high fade so there's not that much area to work with but I still want to give him a smooth like blend one. with a dope transition to the top. So I'm, I'm roughly staying under, I'd say, um, about an inch. So now that it's set, I'm going to begin to close my lever and I'm going to start fading from the bottom towards the top and I'm going to open my lever as I go up. And every time that I open my lever, I'm going to notice that I'm moving that guide, but that's what I'm looking for. So every time I, I okay, so like I come in with the lever closed, move that guideline up. I open my lever a little bit more, begin to fade upwards, and I move that guideline up. And I continue to do that just like you see now on the screen until my lever is fully open and that guide's completely blended out. So I know I just mentioned uh, that I'm upstairs doing some things to my little YouTube lair. I'm really happy to announce that today I did um, acquire a really dope webcam. I bought a desk, a chair, um, a little light so I could have some lighting. I got this dope mic. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to going live with you guys starting next Sunday. I don't know exactly what time yet, but it's gonna be called Smoke Session Sunday where I'm gonna just chill with you guys, smoke, and we could chalk it up about barbering or whatever comes to mind. So now that that guide was set and removed, I'm gonna come through with my wall number one color guard with the lever open, and I'm gonna continue to be consistent and give myself the same amount of space as I gave myself on the previous guide. But this time I'm using a, like a, a, a scoop out motion as I get towards the top because I'm not really trying to dig in his head because I'd like to keep somewhat of a box shape. If, if, you, if you dig in, you're gonna expose that roundness that they have right there towards that side of the head. So I'm trying to avoid that. So once the guide is set, just like the previous guide, I'm gonna close my lever and begin to fade from the bottom towards the top of that guide, opening, and, excuse me, opening my lever as I go up. I'm gonna um, keep in mind that the one isn't gonna completely remove itself, but it's gonna soften that line. That way it's easy to remove when I come through with my next step.
So now that that one guide is set, I'm gonna come through with the wall half guard. It's the color guard line. Um, right where I just showed you, I'm gonna begin to use that flick out motion right above that line. And I'm gonna continue to fade, but this time I'm gonna be fading downwards. And I'm gonna be closing my lever as needed until that guide is completely removed. So now that I got my blend work out the way, I'm going to begin to prep his hair for sure work. And the way I like to do that is just to wet the hair and gain control over it. It just allows me to feel a little more comfortable with my shear, so this is what I like to do. So now that I got everything uh, situated as far as wetting his hair and combing it out, now I'm going to begin my shear work. And what you're going to see me do right here is um, I'm going to pull everything up in the front and I'm going to cut. And um, this is the length that he asked me to remove from his head. So that's just what I'm going by the same way you're going to go by with whatever your client asks you to, re uh, to remove from the top. So once I set that first initial cut, I'm going to follow it from one side of his head to the other. Once I'm done doing that, then I'm going to comb the hair from the front and pull back to my next set or section just like you saw me do. And when I pull back, I'm pulling back some of the front hair from the first section and I'm just following that guy. It's that simple. So right here I'm going to give him a little texture. I don't necessarily know how to explain other than uh, I believe this is called slithering and it's kind of where you just slither your way across hair. I don't want to try to explain it to you if I can't do that correctly but basically the result is texture and so that's what I was giving him. So now that I'm done with my shear work I'm going to blow dry his hair just to kind of get a visual of where everything's at and uh, get him ready for what I'm going to do next. So while combing the hair, this is where I'm really getting to notice um, the weight that I'm going to want to remove to, to kind of connect his fade to the top. So I'm just getting a visual of what I'm going to want to remove with the clipper over comb. And so now I'm actually going to re-wet his hair. <laughs> I know I just tried it, but I'm going to re-wet his hair just to kind of gain control over it again. And uh, right there where I'm showing you with my comb, that's what I'm looking to remove. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that with clipper over comb. So when I do clipper over comb, I like to come in with my lever open, my, my comb, and then I like to go in, scoop, and then lift my comb straight up off the head. That way I'm, I'm trying to give it that, that box shape because in my opinion, to a lot of men, it complements their head and their haircut a lot more. Now granted, if he went like a number two on top or like a number three, something that low, then, then that round look wouldn't look too bad. But in my opinion, with cuts like these, you're gonna wanna keep it as boxy as you can. So 
So now that I'm done with my clipper over a comb work, I'm gonna come through with my wall one and a half premium guard. And right where I'm showing you, I'm gonna begin to, to blend out. So I'm gonna go right above the weight line that I see with the lever open and I'm gonna fade, but this time I'm gonna fade down and I'm gonna close my lever as needed until I feel like that bulk's removed. Alright, so now that we got that blended, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to prep his front lineup and all I'm doing is I'm combing the long hair away from um, the little hairs that you see in front and I'm using duck clips to hold the, the long hair in place and then I'm going to brush down those little hairs and now I'm going to apply some quick dry hairspray. I use Redken, you can use any type of hold spray and while that dries I'm going to begin to do his beard work. Shout out to Still Tooth Combs again, um, here's another great comb by them. I like using this one, uh, particularly for beards. My clients seem to like it too. So um, stay tuned for the review that I'm gonna drop on my channel. So right here, I'm gonna begin my beard work and I'm gonna come in with my lever open with my wall magic clip. And I run two magic clips. This one happens to be the fade blade. Um, I only use this blade when I'm going from ball to stubble or the first ball to guideline. So once I set it in with the blade open, I close the blade and fade upwards it's kind of like a reverse taper on the beard so now i come in with my wall number one color guard with the lever open and then i close it now i'm coming in with the lever open <clears throat> to my half guard and i'm blending out those two here i am coming in with the wall number two guard with the lever open and i'm going uh opposite of with the green i don't know what that's called so that's what i said right now and I noticed that it's not really knocking down those flyaways, so I went ahead and closed the lever and I'm just continuing to go downwards. And all this is really doing is it's just removing those flyaways. He likes to keep his beard very natural, so that's what I'm trying to keep, but just with a nice little taper to blend in. So right here, I'm just uh, cleaning up a little bit with the one and a half guard with the lever open just to remove some of that bulk and connect it to that that uh, longer portion of his beard. Right there, I was just pointing out the back side of it because I was actually talking to my client. You couldn't see that in the video and I was asking him if he did want me to remove the back of his beard right there. So that's what I went ahead and did. And uh, there's really not much left to walk you through right here. You can see that that, that blend starting to come together on this beard. I'm getting ready to clean up everything else, sharpen up his line, uh, bald it out down there, shape up his little mustache, knock it down. Uh, knock down some weight on it and um, I'm gonna let you guys just ride out to the beat right here I'm really excited to be back um, It's been a minute since I posted or at least for me. It feels like it's been a really long time I got a new camera um, I'm just kind of getting familiar with it. I'm really excited I'm getting ready to start shooting some vlogs too and I'm getting ready to go live every Sunday with the smoke session Sunday so what time do you guys think would be a good time for me to go live that way it's convenient for everybody on the west coast and east coast or wherever they happen to be at in the world whatever you guys feel like is fair why don't you drop it in the comments section below and get active um that way i can make sure when i do go live that it's worth getting on so let's make that happen and get active in the comment section below and let me know what's good i'm gonna let y'all ride out to the beat for a little bit and i'll be back
All right, so right here, um, you see that I'm using my razor and doing razor work. The most important thing I could say when doing razor work is stretch the skin. So you see me pulling with my thumb the skin down or the opposite of direction that I'm getting ready to shave in. So now that I'm on his brow, I'm pulling upwards. Now that I'm back on his lineup, I'm pulling downwards. Same thing with this beard. Just to make this shave as comfortable as I can for my client, I'm gonna stretch his skin. And uh, I believe when you stretch the skin, it kind of helps uh, avoid any trouble that you could have with the razor. So just make sure to go ahead and do that. And uh, always when doing somebody's lineup, keep it as natural as possible. You can see that I kept his lineup very natural. There wasn't a lot to remove on the upper lineup. Right here on the beard, I want to keep it, it as big or as wide as I can, but look as full as it can. So I'm only removing a little, and you could see just by the little that I removed, it totally gave a different look to his beard. And in my opinion, it looks dope and it's popping. Now that I got everything looking kind of crispy, I'm going to begin to style his hair and I'm also going to do detail work. Um, I don't know if a lot of barbers do this, but this is what I like to do. I like to style my client's hair and then I like to take an overlook of the cut itself and then I like to, to do detail work. Um, in my opinion, I don't know, like I, this is just how I like to do my detail work. So if it works for you, then dope. If it doesn't work for you, then that's cool, I understand. Granted, I'm constantly doing detail work when I'm fading. I might not show that in my videos, but but if there's ever a time that I see something that needs addressed, I definitely don't wait till the end of the haircut. I kind of just attack it as I go. Um, and then this is kind of my way to just reassure that everything looks as it should. And that when my client goes home and, and he takes a shower and he wakes up tomorrow and he gets up for his day, that when he goes to style his, his hair this same way, that it looks exactly as it did when he left. So that's my opinion and, and that's just how I like to get down. There's really not much more in this tutorial to say other than I appreciate y'all. Everybody who took time to watch this, thank you. If you got anything useful off this, smash that like button. It does so much for your boy. It lets me know that the time that I'm taking to drop this content is being appreciated and uh, somebody's getting value out of it. So if you got any value, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you hit that sub or <clears throat> excuse me. I suggest you subscribe and stick around because it's only going to get doper from here. So here's the finished look, y'all. Again, I appreciate y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing and congratulations to the winner. I mean, you ain't won yet, but someone's about to win because I'm getting ready to drop this video right now. It's Sunday, 8.57 p.m. my time and it's going down. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Congratulations to the winner. I'm going to be looking out for them comments. I'll see y'all on the next one. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm out, y'all.